position is the only position you use the Quran in. Standing up in the position of Kiyam. He said because it is the Quran that protects that nature. Alright? This is the inherent life. Two things. The inherent life and the guided life. Because you can have a good inherent life. But if that life is not guided, it's going to go on. So Muhammad the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed and peace be upon him. He was given the Quran. Imam Muhammad said it like this one. He said he didn't need it. He was already living the way Allah wanted that human nature to live. But what did Muhammad the Prophet want to do? He wanted to help humanity. Now he knew that humanity had the same nature that he had. Because he said, if nothing was in, well, they look like humans, but they sure don't act like it. He could see it. So his heart wanted to know his heart, you know what I'm saying? His heart was burdened, heavily burdened. Why are they like this? So he had, he said he had to lead the society, go up in the mountains and just concentrate. Now there was no university up in that mountain, no classrooms up in that mountain. He communicated with his Lord, his innate nature. And because he was requesting from his nature guidance, Allah sent him revelation. And that revelation came as we have today in the new form of Quran. Not all, all at one time. Then what did he do with the revelation? He began to go back and try to teach the savages. That's what he did with the revelation. Now did they welcome him? Oh, this is what I mean. He brought help for us. Did he get that kind of homecoming welcome? No. They wanted to kill him. Because he wanted to bring them out of bad behavior into good behavior. Alright. And we're talking about a big topic here. And how to execute this topic. That is teaching our youth and let them lead the way. And let them lead the way. Well, if you don't know the way, how can you lead it? So the question should be, what is the way that we want to go in? Because life is best established in what? Protected when life lives with life in a context with other members of that life. I'm going back to the quote from the man. This is a life. We have to establish it and then do what? Anybody here? Protect it. Protect it. I just want to keep you, I want, I want you to engage this thinking. If you don't protect your life, you protect your car. When you park your car and you lock it, you lock your house in that. You know, these are things that you value. How do you put a lock on and a protection on your mind and your life? The young brother that recited last night, we were very proud of him because he has learned two juices. Quran. Three. Three juice of the Quran. And they call it Hafiz, right? Hafiz. Hafiz don't mean to memorize. Uh, uh, Hafiz means to preserve and protect. That's what Hafiz is. Now let me ask you this question. Do you protect the Quran or does the Quran protect you? Huh? The Quran protects you. So the celebration of, oh, he's a heart of the Quran. Yeah, meaning he has a lot of protection that has been given.
to effort, sincere effort. Many houses have gone out. But, you know, like I told him yesterday, I say, I told him, I say, make a strong effort to learn what you recite. To recite and not have comprehension is the traditional way that we see in the world. And this message here years ago when I was working at the man here, I did a Juma once. I forget the, uh, the, the brother's name. But he came to me after Juma. He said, Imam, I have been hafiz for 25 years. I don't know what I said. I'd like to come to your class. He used to lead the Tower of Prayers. He could recite it, but didn't know what he was reciting. But he did good. Don't get me wrong. He was, I'm just like, I'm just like me, this recite it away. But he did not understand or comprehend yet. So if we want to teach our youth and let them lead the way, they have to be taught the language of the Quran with an understanding that will allow them to lead in every endeavor. I don't care whether it's politics, education, social life, community life, I don't care what it is. You have to lead with the Quran. That's what was left with us. So as a community, we are obligated. We're absolutely obligated to preserve the Quran in our life. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, Hafidhu, Hafidhu wustu salat, Hafidhu wustu salat, and guard the midday prayer. So the few friends, and guard the midday prayer. Imam Muhammad said, well, he said, they say, some say, some scholars say, that the midday prayer is the Lord, and midday prayers are also. I say yes. But what, what happens at the door in the answer awesome prayer? Everybody can see. If you look on one level, can I can you move the order for a minute?
So man in his darkness, he wants to see. See, see, see. All right. So here is his level here, C. <coughs> C. C. And C. Everything is C. I want C, I want C level, and 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 and, and you want to I got a C. No? That's that's halfway. Alright, now. Half of you whisk off to that. Half of you whisk off to that. And God, the midday prayer. So the prayer begins with fetching. And the fetching prayer is when the light is not clear. So you can't do what? See what? Clearly. So the prayer, Imam Muhammad said, is recited aloud. So that those over here who are still in the dark, can at least hear something coming. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. What's something going on, man? They praising God. They still in the dark, though. So as as as, 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 it, as it come here, it's the zenith. The sun is at the zenith. So. The shadow, the shadow and the light become one. Right? Imam Muhammad said that this is the office of Prophet Muhammad. You don't pray at that time. Because the nature has become a right. Why? Because the inherent nature and the guided nature or nature and the revelation has become one the way God wanted. Upright, and you can see. Everybody can see. You see. You can see here, and you can see here level. So the prayers are done silent. Why? Because you're seen with the internal soul of the light, the psychology of the soul. You're seeing with it. You don't, you, you don't have to say it out loud. Because everybody can see for themselves. All right. Now, but when the sun starts to go down, you've got the door and the arson. Here's the door and the arson. When it gets past, this past is in. So it's a happy to what's the slide? God, the midday prayer. He said, this is the office of the holy man. The holy man has to guard the knowledge of Islam. The intelligence of Islam. The light of knowledge that God has given. That's their job. Because the sun begins when it starts setting, we need the knowledge is going out. So we come to what? Now what prayer we come to now? Monthly. And you have, and you can tell the mud rib by the ready glow of the sunset. Father, I hope I see you in Shafaka. One lay lean, one man wants up, one come on the event, don't suck up. And I do call home at the ready glow of the sunset. All of the insight and knowledge. Because it's gone down. Imam Muhammad said, it's going down in your passion and your drive and etc. And it has to go into darkness again to be reborn. It's called Isha. All this has to do with what? The development of leadership. How to instill it, how to transform it. Why? Because where's your first home? Hmm? Allah place you on the earth. It's your home. Home is all me is earth. Right? Anybody from Mars here? Anybody from Mars? We may have a Mars thing. <laughs> or moon. But most of us are from the earth. So the earth is our discipline where we learn how to live in this form of the creation that we're in. The earth. 
And the earth is your paradise. It is your paradise here, and you got one you want to leave here. It's one paradise, but there's levels of it. Seven. So here now, the, the individual who is studying and allowing his inherent life, the inherent nature, the fitter of nature, the original nature, has to be guided by God. Has to be guided by God. So we ain't going no place without the Quran. No place. It is the book that was revealed to Muhammad the Prophet based upon his faith. It was his belief. What university did he go to in Mecca? He had faith, his inherent faith. He trusted God. His nickname was Alami. You think he just gave him that name? That's guided. So my, my point that I want to emphasize here, we have to produce in our youth a determination <coughs> to be faithful with this religion. To be faithful with it. Be loyal to it. You may have mama said, you know, the word Iman means uh, faith, to believe. He said, but you got to be loyal to what you believe in. He said, people get married, but they're not faithful to their marriage. They're not loyal to it. They have friends, but they're not faithful to their friends. So faith is a requirement for moving ahead. And let me tell you another statement you see. Those of us that have knowledge, have you ever had something where you couldn't figure out something? We can get together right now and try to figure out how to correct this problem and that problem, you know. And everybody offering their sure or their opinion and etc. And then we can't come up with a conclusion. Imam Muhammad said, when your knowledge runs out, that's when your faith comes in. Because that began your knowledge anyway. You didn't even get knowledge until you had faith that you can go get it. So when your knowledge runs out, that's when your faith comes in. So if you have a bad relationship with wife, friends, and etc., and you still can't figure it out, return back to faith. And it will lift you up. So this 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 ideal now of the inherent nature and the guided nature comes from the Quran. Now we can understand more clearly, hopefully, when the Prophet said, "Khayyu man alam al Quran wa alam The best of you is he that learns the Quran and teach it. Listen to this hadith. <coughs> the best of you, the better of you, is he that learns what? The Quran and teach it. So it's, it seems like a no-brainer to me. If we want the best for the community, what should we be doing? Teaching the Quran. And that, does that recruit the fact of all these other knowledges that we have? No. We will understand them better. Now, a lot of our brothers in other countries and different things like that, they spend, and they come over here. They have all kind of hospice classes. They got children from kindergarten, a uh, uh, school that is in Florida and everything. They have, they start right away teaching them how to memorize the Quran. Hospice of Quran. Eight years old, nine years old. Some at five years old have memorized the whole book. <coughs> 
And then that half is all 